What? Like an airplane attendant, you can just bing. Oh, yeah, they yeah. come and yeah. they'll turn the light on for you. Get you a drink. I'll get say you, you go there candy. and spend it way more. And, then, and they'll be like, Oh, oh do yeah, you want to run up a building? Like, ah, do you want to reach? Welcome, welcome, welcome to episode number six of the E. Oh, whoa, of the Optic Podcast. Roger, good news. I have the. Uh, the actual logo, so you don't have to be using the pixelated stuff. Shout out to Face Nikan, who was the first guy to. Uh, d- he used to be a designer at one point. Really? Yeah. Wow. He was like the best designer. Yeah. He he used to. He had this graffiti design okay. for Hex's. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did for well, Hex for or some- not for Hex's for uh, Banks's uh, Twitter header, and it was. Nasty. Are you just saying that because you know that I don't like any graffiti that people do? No, I forgot. Okay. But it it, what, for non-graffiti people, no, it I was not. Dope. Yeah, for non-graffiti people, look dope. I have the graffiti writers by nature are like the biggest haters in the world, just yeah. by nature. No, so by they just like their nature. own stuff. Huh? They usually just like their dope. own stuff. No, it's like you 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 don't get respect unless you do like one of two things. Like you're either incredibly talented and your letters are just like revolutionary or just <laughs> super like legible. No, I'm, I'm nothing, nothing. Or. Or or you get up a lot, but who that's are, it. Who it, were you it, gassing yesterday on Twitter? Was it Asmongold? Gassing. Who who were you gassing yesterday or t- yesterday on Twitter? I forget who I saw. It wasn't Asmongold because I don't watch. Wow. Okay. <coughs> that was, I think that was Jack. Then never mind. Oh, it probably was Jack. Yeah, Jack's like obsessed. With they it. look alike. I love Asmongold. Yeah. <laughs> yeah Similar yeah. success. All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> well, you guys sure it wasn't XQC. Oh, good segue. Thank you, thank you, good thank segue. you. So apparently XQC got DMC8 on Twitter, uh, which obviously, like, if, if nobody saw that coming, nobody Wait, understands okay, the way so the world. Well, I'm confused. Did he, Did he get DMC8 on Twitch? Twitter. Well, DMC8 on, on Twitter. On Twitter. He, what did he get DMC8 for? Uh, a song from 10 years ago in one of his videos. Oh, in one of his Twitter videos? Yeah. But, like, wait, isn't Twitter isn't Twitter ago? DMCA? Like, you just, accept, you just get a slap on the you wrist. You just get a, I mean, well, yeah. for now, but it, it will get it will get to the point to where you, you need Unless to... Unless you do something, like, obviously really bad. Yeah. He still got his Twitter account, though? He didn't get deleted or... No. I don't, I don't know what happened. How does that work? There's no way you can just get erased from Twitter. No. Unless you do something really bad, obviously, but... Yeah, Roger, can you write something else besides XQC, DMCA? Like, can you give us some some details? They probably could erase it. I mean, what is it? Like two <laughs> copyright strikes on YouTube? They delete your channel. No. So, I mean, same with Twitch now. It's three and they permaban. No, it's three on YouTube as well. Yeah. So wait, how do how wait wait? It's three on YouTube. So yeah. how do you get strikes? How do you get copyright strikes on YouTube? It's, it's got to be real bad. It's different most now, of the time, right? They will do you like, to, like the content ID claim, and they'll just monetize your. So video you have to upload it. like take it you have to like literally upload Ocean's Eleven. Yes. Like, right. to get okay. for, for those of you who don't know, DMC a DMCA strike or, or or claiming it's content is. Let's better. say for example, I upload a sniping montage. This sniping montage has Drake. What Drake's people will then do? The goat. What Drake people will then do and say, you know what? Let's not. Uh, mute the video instead let's monetize the video which means that any right. ad that's made on that uh, any ad money goes to them the and not way. the creator it's the second it best is way to do second it. best way to do it instagram is the best which is what you just type what song you want and if it's available you can put it on your story yeah mm. yeah <clears> that's, that's the best way. That's but i think the they thing pay for now that. it's like getting to the point where yeah i mean, I mean obviously you know most what what most what songs are and aren't copyrighted but i was saying if like labels or like the streaming platforms like Spotify, you know, all the major streaming platforms, they had like copyright just somewhere more visible. It would yeah. make it so much easier on people. Cause like, I mean, how, you know for the most part, but how can you really know at the end of the day? Yeah. Uh, uh, I wonder yeah, if, so like YouTube, yeah. So YouTube streamers, they can, they can play Drake songs without, getting banned or anything they just get claimed i'm so jealous i think that's the risk that you take though because if they wanted to they could actually strike it yeah so it's just the risk of do you but i don't think anybody's been maybe i don't think so that's why i like that case with twitch um, Twitch always had a copyright you know like clause in there whatever right you know but they just just didn't enforce it at all well they did they just muted it so they okay yeah yeah they would mute your vod but they wouldn't like perma ban you now it's getting to the point where I mean, yeah. they were acquired by Amazon, so now it's kind of a different story. But I don't know. thing that like artists like want or like 
allow you to play the music or they say you can and then you still can get striked on well it's the record label it's not even the artist like yeah. Tony Savage said that Nico could play his music yeah, right yeah, and then you play his music Nico? Nico? and his record the label no uh, Nico Lowell oh Nico oh, okay yeah, yeah okay yeah but then his record label comes in and is like no right and, uh, I want that. Yeah, yeah. Some of you it's know? algorithms too. Like I do a lot of reaction videos, and I just don't. There was literally some clip, like somebody was playing with a can of beans, and there was like a little tune in the background, and I got hit with a content ID from like Bean Time or some shit. Yeah. What? I disputed it, and they immediately just resolved it, and they were like, oh, "Okay, never mind," because uh. it was definitely like an algorithm that came in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What? I just don't. And I mean, I I understand because they want to make money, but I don't understand why they wouldn't want, you know, however many people are in your stream. It's literally free advertisement. Yeah, it's the same thing with, with the people that upload your videos, right? The same people that rip your stream clips <clears> that <throat> are making money off of you. Yeah. All they're doing is gr they just go, and the only job that they're doing is ripping your stuff and uploading it to YouTube and, and getting paid for that, for something that you did on your own channel, and you don't get a single piece of that. I mean, now, it's obviously. It's not a bad gig. And they're quick with it, too. There'll be an hour after scrims, and you know, yeah, it was quick our scrims Optic, will already be up. Optic wow. Chicago's Twitter. Yeah, we're super quick. Super with quick with that. The, I Clip, will tell. I will, bang. I will Uploaded tell you, an hour later. <laughs> yeah, I will tell you this though. That's the same thing that's happening here. It's gonna go away. Like now, more, more, more and more people or MCNs are offering the yeah. the ability to claim that. So continue uploading the stuff because we're gonna monetize that, and you're gonna. So, so do they have to pay you? You could sue them for it. Yeah. So say someone's made a hundred grand off oh, of yeah. my videos. Oh yeah, you somebody could, probably you could has. sue them. <laughs> yes, yeah, 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 and get that money. Yeah, it's your money. <clears throat> it's your content. Yeah, <clears throat> as long as they don't. There's like, companies who go out and do that right now. You can hire like Jukin Media is like the one that yeah they represent a ton of YouTubers yeah. and, and. I mean, I would never do that. But maybe you would. I don't know. Well, I, I'll tell you what though. Like I understand. It, well, if I, I warned someone and they kept doing it, then I might. But right, I would right. never do it. Like just. Yeah, no, out of, the, you the, know, out of thin air. Like, yeah, I just <laughs> <laughs> like you're fucked. You're fucked. Like, <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't I do that. Them, but at least They'd, monetize have to their stuff first. because it's your stuff. Yeah. No, so it, it's not. It's not morally right, but people gotta make money. I, I so do, I get it. But I it's do. Not right. I, I for the longest time before that was a thing. I would want to. I wanted to open up the Optic Ar Archive uh, YouTube channel, and then anything that was uploaded, I would go and rip it from them because they already did the, you know, the. Yeah. So I would upload -upload it to it. see to see if and, and I would delete their watermark because they're watermarking content that isn't even fucking right, there. I mean, right. they do Which a makes, good job. No, whatever, like, whatever. <laughs> but point is, is that I wanted to go in there and put my watermark on top of theirs to see if they said something. It's yeah. like, yo, that's my work. Uh huh? Time out. What the fuck? <laughs> no, work. Who's work? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. They do a good job. Like, a, there are some dope videos out there that I've seen of like montages. See, of, montages I fuck with. Yeah. yeah. Or so it, like, like that's the thing when. When Ninja was on his up, when he was on his like upswing, yeah, the 2018 thing, people would just rip his whole vods and mm -hmm. they would get like 1.3 million views on it, Jesus. yeah, like That's six thousand ridic dollars, so ridiculous, I'd be furious. right? And he was, and he finally started cracking down on it. He's like, you can't just do that. No, you can't. But he was like, if you have like, that's how. What's that guy? The the dude who makes all those like BB. Uh, Oh my god! YouTuber? Yeah, he makes like montages of different moments of uh, Fortnite moments, Warzone moments. I don't really watch. I know YouTube there's a so Call of Duty moments one now. Oh really? I don't know if it's the same guy, but but I feel like it is. I have one question: Is someone taking our content, all any of us? Is that the same as us playing music on stream? Yes, pretty much. No. You think so? Actually, no, no, not no, that no, much. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. I don't no, think it's. Uh, it, I don't it's think not, it's the same. Why not? It, it's it's sort of the same. Well, one, you're, you're, it's like it's like a half and half thing, right? <clears throat> you're creating a piece of content, and then in the background, you if you repurpose it, yeah, like they're yeah. literally just ripping. Like, yeah, they're right. ripping it. Like I understand, like new sources and all these people that that take a clip and then they talk about it. I get that. Like no no issue there. It is the people that upload the entire thing, right? You're uh, uh, Optic Chicago versus a hundred thieves, or most epic. <laughs> yeah. It depends. Why are views. people watching? Are they watching because it's Some you on Twitch, or are they watching because you're playing Drake in the background? Some dude. No one's watching because you're playing Drake in the background. Some right. some dude even had a channel called the Green Wall Channel, right? And then he would upload stuff, and then this dude would have the fucking audacity to stream his own shit, right? So he'd be getting like hundred thousand views or whatever, oh, and, and then, then he would try was, to mix in his own. Yeah, his own thing, like yeah. trying to you he was know, trying like, to build a base for yeah, his yeah, own yeah. Channel. And, and, and then, then he, they'll change their name or something and. <laughs> Yeah. Try to repurpose it. Yep. Yeah. So he, I see like accounts do that all the time. I'll, I'll I'll be following like a dog account or a cat account. Like just post cute pictures of cats and dogs, and then like they'll I swear just I did not follow you. They'll just switch up, and next thing yeah. you know, it's boobies everywhere. 
wow. I don't know. I'm just saying. I like, I like it. <laughs> People uh, switch up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they do. I, I, I'm with it, man. Sp- uh, speaking up. Next topic. Yeah, next topic. Uh, routers to reverse. This Google. is something that I've wanted to talk about. Good, because that we put it up there specifically for you, and that's why I'm bringing it up. Apparently, and I just I know very minimal about this. And I don't even know how it would work, but people are using routers to reverse boost. So they're no longer... I, I have one of these routers. Okay, go on. Yeah. Yeah. Keyboarder. So it's it's just literally it's a router. You log in like a normal router, and there's a map, and it has like a circle going around from like where you're at. And you can change the radius so you can play people in the EU, oh. just in the U.S., just in your state, yeah. just in like the Midwest, so you whatever do, you, you want. Do it? So you're basically skipping no, over no, skill base. I don't do that. Never so what? So what's, how, how do you reverse boost that? How do you like get a different skill base? Well, I don't know. I've played <laughs> I don't know a decent reason. amount of Warzone tourneys in my time, and you can really, really tell because like obviously there's players that are very, very good at Warzone and just at games in general, and you will just get bot lobbies against them consistently. I'm not going to say any names. We don't like to be called bots. I'm not going to say any names, <laughs> we- but. There's players that, like, you'd play in a Warzone tournament, and you'd be like, okay, this is probably going to be sweaty as hell. I mean, you could probably attest to this, too. You've played some Warzone yeah. tourneys. I mean, Davis, played, you've played Warzone tourneys. I have. I mean, you get into lobbies with, like, and this is in, like, the 2v2 format where you're kill racing people. His name's Grub Bay. Sorry. And <laughs> you just get the most weird lobbies, but it's consistent against those same people <laughs> every time. I was like, you know, people run up a 60-kill game, and I'm like, this is going to be a sweaty lobby. We should probably play slow. And then they'll just get, like, absolute hamsters on the sticks. And the thing is, too, I think the only way you could probably tell if they're doing it is if the lobbies take longer to load because you're only getting a player base from a certain, like, area. And as much as I love Warzone and I would love for it to be competitive, it's just just not. It's not competitive. It's not a competitive. Like, the tournaments are competitive because everyone in the tournament's really, really good. But... Yeah, it's just there's so much left to chance and it's RNG. unpredictability. It's, it's literally like, RNG. It's like it's 80%. The, it, it's RNG. probably the least RNG battle royale, though, because uh-huh. of the buyback system. Yes. Yeah, and, I, and, I agree and with that. And your, drops, that makes, and, your, and your loadout drops. Yeah, and your loadout. But That's it's what just, makes Warzone better than all the other BRs, to be honest. I don't well, know, yeah, man. in They're, general, I agree with you, but I don't agree, yeah. with, I don't agree in like a competitive sense. In a competitive sense, like you could get – what because you can't be in the same lobby. Yeah. So it's like if yeah, those if tournaments three, are the th- like the three hour like the three best hour five kill, games I mean, are so whack. They're not competitive at, at all. all. Like it no yeah, it's super chance. Based. It's literally right, right, right. are you getting good lobbies? Are you getting stream sniped? I mean that happens in yeah. the kill races too. But oh, in the kill, I mean there are so many ways to be scumbags in that in those kill races. Like you see people drop a hundred and fifty, and you're like how? And then you realize one dude who averages. Like this isn't a shot to anybody, but one who who averages on his actual content eleven kills a game is damn. Dropping, that's a lot. Is dropping twenty two a game. And What's your average? What's your yeah. average? Like ten. What's your my my average is literally five. Uh, Thirteen, <laughs> I think mine is. Thirteen, yeah, that's a that's but, like double mine. But Plus I three. just don't. As much I love Warzone, so I I don't like want people to think I don't yeah. love Warzone yeah, yeah. and want it to succeed. And I mean, I have a lot of good friends in the field. Yeah, I mean. But those tournaments, man. I mean, so t- explain the r- the router. The guy it's yeah, they're that geo. Matter, it's the geo. Location? You can geo locate certain servers that you want to play on. Basically. But what, what does it matter? Like because how, how there's certain there? servers. Remember, so I was playing a tournament with Max Holloway, um, mm-hmm. Huskers, and Symphony, and they wouldn't let Max host because they thought he was in Hawaii. I think he was in like California at the time, but they wouldn't let Max host because he was in Hawaii, and they said that the Hawaii servers were literally like an advantage because oh, yeah. for some reason i don't know why but bot lobbies and yeah yeah ping. so they they were like saying <laughs> you can't it's just play the, on max's host the player base in california texas and the east coast mm. is like it's Larger. more concentrated yeah. on the better players yeah. so you just stay away from like the big cities yeah, yeah. You live right, in right. Dakota and you were literally like playing like solos just making content i'd do the geolocation thing make it only South Dakota, North Dakota, wherever, and you like probably play bots friends. the whole time. Yeah, yeah. yeah so. I just, it's just, there's so many layers of RNG, and there's so many loopholes and ways you can work the system. It's but just, I, I say it's free game as long 
as it's not in tournament, but I don't think tournament should exist. I mean, if people like that, I think tournament should only be two v twos, and you're in the same. I think I think that as well. I don't think there should be any three hour, four hour best five game like windows. I don't think that should be a thing. I agree. There, uh, I I think there is a way for um, this specific battle royale to work, but it needs a lot of tweaking, and that's just coming from somebody that's like I want to throw a tournament. Where it's a two-hour kill race and it's four and it's fours, and I want to promote it by saying just be as scumbag as possible. Reverse boost beforehand. Use your sister's account. Like I want to see them drop three hundred kills. That's again. the thing. That's the thing with skill that base as well. It's like, especially with skill base layered on top of that, that just adds another loophole. Like I mean, people, that's the whole point. Could that could that, 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 that a, could that not be a thing though? Like why why don't tournament organizers say all right for this thing? Uh, you have to start with a brand new clan tag and then come in here. Pretty isn't that how a brand new account? Isn't that how it works? Like, well, the accounts you have to rank up your guns, so nobody would have guns. Yeah, but that's part of the that's part of the thing. You 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 Maybe. land with your land. It wouldn't be as fun to watch. I mean, I've I've I disagree. seen I've seen reverse boosting for a while. You know, like it's 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 always been like a thing. I feel like this year is the first Duty. year it's like coming like people are actually being like, yeah, I, I reverse. Like I mean, and it's fair game, but it's also <laughs> like. It's it used to be like frowned upon. Now it's like common ground to reverse boost just because reverse boosting don't like I posted a Twitter clip of reverse boosting. and People loved it. Yeah. And I was just trolling like I and that was during the beta. But I think it's because everyone equally hates skill based matchmaking yeah. now. So everybody's banding together. And, and yeah, like, and they it. just yeah, the, like, skill base and reverse boosting is now like I mean, reverse boost lobbies thing, is, are 30 times worse than regular not skill based matchmaking cod lobbies. I just wish like, people you like can if, tell right away. Right. Like if you if you first went, gunfight you run if into you went into a COD four, Black Ops two or a Modern Warfare two lobby, it wasn't like everyone on the map is horrible. Like there were some good people, there were some noob tubers, there were some people always like one or two people shotguns. on the other team. You're like that guy could probably kill me if right, you right. got to jump on me. Yeah. yeah. But if you reverse boost for six games straight, go into a um <clears throat> into a lobby in this game, you're going to drop like you're you're. It's going to be hard for you to die because you're <laughs> only literally, playing like, three I've year seen, olds. I've seen videos of people like running around and like literally shooting at the ground next to like three people, and then none of them like react. Yeah, it's there's actually one insane. in like checkmate, like in the plane. Yeah, that's yeah. the that's the one yeah. that I saw. It's it's actually insane. So it's like. I don't know. And I mean, I've got, I've personally gotten a lot of flack for voicing my opinions about skill base. So at the beginning, I was very, very adamant that I hated it. I still don't like it. Um, but then my, just my brain kind of like segued into it's in the game. They're not going to change it. It's obviously doing something for the company. Like, right. There's no point in fighting something that you're not going to make any progress on. It's just going to give you a headache. It's gonna piss you off. It's gonna piss. So I just accepted it, and yeah, and people still get mad that I've like backed down. Mm -hmm. Like I've had like multiple videos made well, about first, me backing first of, down. First of all, first of <laughs> and all, I've, I haven't even backed down. I'm like, I don't like it, but it's here. It's not going anywhere. So you yeah. might as well just fucking deal with the, it. The other right. thing is like for people to expect for you just because of who you are to be the loudest voice to that's gonna, you know, David and Goliath the thing again, Activision yeah. like is super unfair to you and shouldn't right. like you're a moron if you think that way. I Secondly, mean, what am I gonna do? Exactly. Well, I want you to be the spearhead of like the movie. Yeah. What am like, I? You go do? through yeah. the wall for you get hurt and then we'll right. fucking back. I'm you not up. the mocking Jay. Like, <laughs> I think skill base isn't going anywhere. So why the why why fight it? Why if you're the front runner it? of anything, it should be for league play. Well, I, I'll tell oh, 100. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. I, I, I'll, I'll tell you what. League play should be a thing at the start of every cut. Okay. I, we can't have second. On this. <laughs> second, second, second. It should, it we'll should drop. It should drop at the very, very beginning of every cut. But we be, won't talk about that. I, I'm with it. Before we move on, I, I do want to say that next week I'm going to do some research and I'm going to read and watch the video that this dude did about uh, the um, Activision filed a couple of uh, what are they? Uh, what are they called? When you, trademarks. Yeah, trademarks and uh, when patents, you invent something, patents. patents. For some sort of code within Call of Duty that like fixes, it's like, it re, it's it's like, like an algorithm. It, yeah, right? an algorithm that yeah. does like the skill based matchmaking. And oh. they've, they've oh, made. Oh, it's insane. The yeah. things that I've seen people report on, yeah. it goes to like movement. Yeah. yeah. It goes to so many like bizarre, like, I mean, score per minute, obviously, kill, kill death. People but it goes down to movement, like movement and how many buttons you're clicking. And yeah, stuff. and uh, uh, the guns. RPM. That you use. That's insane. Apparently, like, the guns that you use say a lot about RPM. you. Yeah, like if you if you drop into a Warzone game and you choose 
your Mac 10 kilo class. I don't know what the meta is now. Mac 10 kilo class. You're more likely to play against other people that are using Mac the 10 same? kilos. Ooh. So if you Dude, drop in, insane. grab like an LMG and uh, AK. Uh huh. And it, you're, I mean, you're more likely to find bots that way. Holy shit! And if shit. they're if they're, crea- if they're getting patents for this stuff, like it, it's not going anywhere. Right. Of course. Uh, obviously, yeah. it's doing something okay, well, let, positive for let, them, so it's not going. L- like I said, let me let me no, do a research. No reason to. Let me it. do a little bit more research so we can be more informed on what it is exactly we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, but let's move on to the next topic, which is Tifu getting swatted on stream. Did he really? Yeah. I I didn't see the clip. I did I did I, I did it. see it. I saw it. I saw the clip. Apparently he didn't even react. He was like cool with it or something. Yeah, he just got up and said he has his hands up and walked out. I mean, yeah, as long as he came in well. with the guns drawn. They didn't no. come into his room. They closed uh, his house. I mean, uh, swatting is just such a fucking well, uh, weird weird thing. Especially because somebody has already died. Especially because the guy that got caught got 25 years in yeah. fucking jail. And people jail. still <laughs> do it. And people are still risking it all. And I mean they're risking it all. Risking yeah. everything. Like look, man, if you want to be a fuck up and, and go to jail, do that shit. But when you put other people in danger, that's like fucked up. When you're at home and it's nighttime and you are a family man or you are the 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 eldest of your family and you hear somebody coming in your first instinct is going to be to protect your house yeah right but if you don't know that the intruder that you think is an intruder are actually cops there to fix a situation and you, also how would you know you have your headset exactly. on exactly you have no like idea until you take your headset off and like and all it takes is you running out of your office like aggressive or some shit, not knowing, and Shoot they'll you. put you down. Yeah, no, no, yeah. bro, I, I got, I got, I got, I got dogs. Okay, I got Henry. You know what I mean? Like this is, like yeah. I have a, I have protocols in my house as to how things happen if the police are at the door. First of all, Jude takes the dogs into the back room, locks them up, right, and then we, we as humans address the situation. <laughs> but even that movement right there, where Jude is. Like running away to the back room, yeah. cops don't know what the fuck you're doing, yeah. right? Yeah. But these are the, the the protocols that that we have in our house, I mean, just in case. Especially with like the people call in that you like killed someone or you, you have someone hostage, you have someone yeah. hostage, or you have a you know bomb in your house, whatever. They literally call in the most. Yeah, it's actually ridiculous really up when you think about it. Oh, oh it's it's, it's horrible. It's, it's, I can't it's, believe it's still. I can't believe it's still happening. Yeah. Yeah. It's not as bad as it used to be. It no, rare. it's not no, as bad as it used to be. It. You gotta yeah. wonder how many bomb threats and stuff like that happened during. I don't know like, the last decade. Well, I, how many of that happens in like traditional sports and like what is their protocol? Because you know, there's a sniper at every Super Bowl, right? Mm-hmm. Really? There's a there's a several sni- there's several snipers. several several snipers. <clears throat> so it's like. Good. It's like it, yeah. if those are the protocol for for traditional sports, like event, of course we had to go through that growing pain. Like yeah. I mean, yeah. in, what was it 20, 2013, yeah. 2014, We got bump, we got bump threat at every yeah. event, every single. I mean, event. one event we literally like the whole day got shut down. That was twenty sixteen. That, 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 da- that was in that was here. That was here. Yeah, that was in Dallas. That show, dude. That show. Was literally crazy. the whole the whole day. Like, still, we were about to go. We were in our match, and then our yeah. whole our whole match got canceled. We were up 1-0, I think, and then the whole day got canceled right. afterwards. I guess shout-out to MLG at the time. Yeah, they right? finished in time. Because, well, I'm saying, like, after that event, they, like, I think they overhauled all their security. Well, shit. we do. We, so when we moved here, like, the first thing that I did is I, I scheduled the meeting with the sheriff and uh, sergeant here in, in Frisco. Yeah. And I told them, like, this is who we are. This is what happens on the Internet. If Here are two numbers that you call first, and if nobody picks up there, then this. Yeah. Um, and you know you, you you and here's here's our addresses all of them if there's a bomb threat call to this thing please read this first please yeah. send an email out to all your officers this needs to be done you and did the, that at McAlpin too i did that at McAlpin. cuz i never That's smart. i never experienced it but yeah. i mean obviously all you guys did yeah so i, I mean i ran up to my but, room but, but the fact the <laughs> fact is like fuck we, this we saw the cartoon we saw it i was like hell to the nah <laughs> i said someone else answered the door Fucking come get you me! You saw the cops first, and then you ran upstairs. Well, no, because me and Cap were in the living room, and yeah. they were shining lights and through the back window, like through the like white ass curtain. They and were like, was... you could see the lights like shining through it. And I was like, Yo, Cap, there's there's kids outside, or I said something like that, or he said it. I don't remember. But yeah, and I ran upstairs. I was like, Fuck this! I'm not dealing with this. <laughs> but hey, man, too. Hey, th- think about what just same. happened there. If so, if Drew said, Hey, there's kids outside. I'm going outside. Yeah, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean. I'm, yeah. I'm gonna go see what's up. You're gonna be like, Who the fuck? And then, bow, dead hex. Yeah. It's fucking scary, dude. 
dude. I mean, I, nowadays with my house, I'd probably be curious and go check it out. But back then, I mean, I have cameras everywhere. You have cameras I everywhere. Do. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, I guess I, it's easier because you could just check. Yeah, it'd be like, oh, it's the cops. Take the dogs over there. Because, right, bro, right. imagine, man, like you open the door and my dogs bark at you know, well, one of them barks at everything, so everybody else gets like that. Yeah. It, there's gonna be like it's easier to fucking put a bullet in a dog because it's a dog right the, to an, another human at, that dog may not necessarily mean much right, but right, to me right. who's a fucking family member my son yeah. not big buzz fuck that oh i'd be i'd be that crushed oh i would stop at nothing to find out who it was and then i would stop at nothing to make sure ring the he would, yeah <laughs> worse because <laughs> i'm more skilled no, I'm shout out shout out ring doorbell you can talk through your talk through your doorbell if you get a ring yes yeah. i mean no ad no hashtag ad no hashtag ad, but we are looking, so if you guys are interested, please let me know. Uh, movies. Skipping theater and going to directly to in-house Why release. Why is everybody complaining about Did you watch Wonder Woman? Yeah. Is it that bad? It is the worst movie. <laughs> really? It we is, turned it off after an hour. Bro, it really? is bad. I can't, the first one was so good. Couldn't I, get, I agree. Chris Pine? I mean, you yeah. kidding me? Uh, I don't know what it was. Uh, like Even the beginning... I'm not gonna ruin the movie for it. You know what? I I I actually listen. If I'm you not gonna watch it. There's been too I'm much about to ruin movie. this fucking movie for everybody. Okay. okay? So uh, to do you a favor, first of all, the beginning, fine. The second they get into this mall action, I'm like, that makes that makes no sense, right? It starts where it makes no sense. Even as an intro, it makes no sense. And then later on in the movie, guess what? It doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and then guess what? Outro, twenty minutes of just talking, right? Of just talking. There's like there was like no action, and, it, and she's like, "You guys need nothing else. You guys have it within you to become the greatest you've ever been, and you should stop the bad things that are happening right now. Just think about it. Just think about it and repent or some shit. We turned yeah, that is the no fucking outro. There's no fighting. There's no whip and shit. There's no like you the know. The first one was good. Yes, really good, really good. But this one was not. The problem with this, do you think it's because of COVID that it kind of lacked? No, you or, no, uh, because you because because uh, somebody said that, and I said this. You can write from your quarantine. That movie was more about how bad the writing and the storyline yeah. was than the effects. Yeah, it sucked. It was so like I saw I saw a mile a, a mile away what was happening. So like, like the story was just scattered. And oh didn't make my sense. god! It is the fucking absolute worst. Yeah, it's Brian so Miggles from uh, Sledgehammer. I saw your tweet, man. He said you guys have to put it into context and this, that, and the other. And I, that's my boy. So I'm like, I'm like, I know. La mayo my ass off. No, you did not. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was the best. Now the problem that I have with this is that people were attributing that movie being released on HBO Max on, on theaters and at home at the same time. Same because the movie was that bad. I think that releasing the movie in theater for those who want to go to theaters should be a thing and double the price for those who want to see it on the on the release date at home. That's I like that, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know what I mean? Because you're gonna spend forty bucks no matter what, right? You're gonna spend forty dollars on uh, on, a, on a on a bar of <laughs> candy or whatever, <laughs> yeah, chocolate yeah. bar. Um, but I, I like the strategy. I like being able to have movies released at the same time that they release in theaters. If I want to go experience the theater, if I want to have go like yeah. go do that, then I'm gonna go do that, right? Uh, but paying an extra extra amount of money, I mean, even if it was, I'm surprised uh, it hasn't always been like that. So am I. Why but, would you just release? Well, they didn't it? release on the. the I guess day they it came out I, in theaters. Well, right? That's what I'm saying. I can't believe that they didn't release it digitally. The same day that it was released in theaters, because do you think what's the business? What do you think the business is behind that? Like, do you think well, the, the theaters? I don't know. Yeah, the brick extra. and mortar. Yeah, maybe yeah. the theaters. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, the brick and mortar. Um, Times are changing, so now it's like becoming more. Right. I mean, Bitcoin they, just hit twenty seven. They caught 000. a lot of flack. A lot of flack about uh, Yo, doing what? doing the twenty seven thousand Bitcoin. Twenty seven k. I mean, it did. Hit, it hit twenty eight k. What did Bitcoin did? Yeah, and Elon Musk was talking about it. It's getting a lot of like. I mean, I, I was just kind weekend. of like branching off of times are changing now. Bitcoin is actually up with becoming. Wayne Chain though. Wayne Chain. Uh, it's a long term investment. Yeah. <laughs> 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 uh, look, I'm I just hold. Th there, there, there's obviously going to be a place for Bitcoin and you know that 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 whole the whole technology. But it's it. you know it's a new age, and I mean now with obviously COVID, I mean. It makes sense that they are releasing digitally. I just can't believe that it wasn't. Well, dude, I, I mean, I mean, think about uh, like all they the. They make so much more money. Yeah, I mean, if you, if you charge more, yeah. 
I, I don't know. Going to the theater rooms, you're going to spend, like, the theater movies, you're going to spend uh, 20 bucks. Weird flags. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's I'm a so weird used flag? to saying uh, theater going room. Going to the theater room. No, no, going to the <laughs> movie theaters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not the theater room. Going to the movie theaters, you're going to drop, like, 50, 60 if you're on a date, period. All right? Uh, that's the sign that's, like, 30 minutes. Oh. See? But we're, you know, I, I look job. at it, you 20? never see it. Movie magic. Huh? $20? Either way. How much, you, well, how much do you spend at theaters? How, if, you, if you're on a date, I got an iPad. Yeah, five forty bucks for two people. <laughs> popcorn, desserts, <laughs> drinks, popcorn, yeah, yeah. Bro, apps, I, is popcorn, there an iPad here? Um, where is that? Is it Fairview? I think it's Fairview. Yeah, it's like East East. Damn, I forgot about it's iPick. an iPad. Yeah. I you know. miss it, bro. I miss it. I miss. Bro. You know what's crazy is I, I never I eat. I pick a lot, bro. Yeah, I never different. eat chicken tenders, but you better believe that every single time I was in there, the two orders of chicken tenders. Yeah, I was getting drunk like during movies and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah. Bringing, like, blankets. Yeah. So make it a dub. All the blankets. Those are the ones you can you, order like full oh, meals. Full meals, drinks. Man, and I was, they, they, they bring like, it to you. Yeah, yeah, they bring it to you. Y'all had me during the movie. You can like dead. Call them like an airplane. What? Like an airplane attendant. You can just. Bing, oh, yeah, yeah. They come and yeah. they'll turn the light on for you. Get you a drink. I was get saying you, you go there, candy. you're spending way more. And then and they'll be like, Oh, oh do yeah, you want to run up a bill there? He's like, Ah, oh, do you want to? Like, Shh. <laughs> 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 That's fucked up. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, I can't believe that it wasn't always digitally released. No, it, it should be, but again, I'm glad it is because I, I prefer watching it at home, especially with I mean, do just you? I do too. the current climate what? of the world. I mean, yeah, I don't trust movie theaters. Uh, I don't I mean, trust anywhere happen. where there's not. So this is a bad time to tell you I went to the movies. No. No, no. You can go to the movies. I just don't Shit trust anywhere where fun. there's not an exit, like, in sight. Or oh, oh, you're talking about down. that. I thought you were, uh, like, this. Yeah. yeah, no, I just pandemic. don't trust movies. Yeah. Movie theaters. I thought you were talking about the, the shooting that happened a long time ago during the... the oh, no, that, I mean... That the, that's, is what he's talking about. Yeah, it's part, part of the reason why. I just don't trust... I mean, it's not trusting movie theaters. I just don't trust people. I bet. Because no. all it takes I is mean, one, that, trapped uh, in a room. one bad egg, yeah. and you're trapped in a room. So... I saw that Tom Hanks movie. Which one? On Christmas Day. Oh, New wait. The, they, they came out on Netflix as well, right? Netflix and Did movie it? theater? Yeah. The uh, yeah, current or the news of the world, I think. No. Oh, I no, 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 no. Yeah, it was pretty good. It was like, it was a good wait, like Tom Hanks. Good. You know what I was thinking about? Um, uh, George Clooney's movie that just came out on, on Netflix. Hmm. Anyway, last week, news speaking of, of movies, last week we talked about you guys watching uh, a couple of movies and people were, you know, I'm like, yo, guys, please leave X amount of likes for these guys to, you know, to to watch the movie. People love, like, people loved, people. I mean, it was a really good movie. I mean, you're talking about Snatch. Snatch. Yeah, we're talking about Snatch. I watched it. People were in I the stream the next day, like, yo, did you watch Snatch? What'd you think of it? It's a pretty good. It's a pretty good movie. It was incredible. I loved it. Yeah, it was a pretty good movie. I I love like Brad London. Pitt's like the- Bad, Brad Pitt's like the best actor ever. Yeah. I'm gonna watch it tonight. Oh yeah, okay. he's incredible. I mean, did you, as you see soon it? As I've seen it, but it's been years. What the fuck are you talking about? Really as soon as he started talking, I was like, "Are you serious?" That's he's fucking, so good, like, bro. You know what's fucked up? No bullshit. I don't know what happened. I don't know who's listening. I don't know what happened, but I turned on my TV yesterday, and there was a uh, an interview with Guy Ritchie. Same, dude. I, yes, I watched Snatch on the plane. Yeah, so it wasn't on my phone. Yeah. nothing. When I got back. <laughs> <laughs> when I got back, that Guy Ritchie interview was like 25 minutes yeah. talking about yeah. that was the first requested video. Yeah. They're watching. And I was like, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then I watched it. Yeah. <laughs> so that. We've, we've, uh, we've realized that we like when we talk about something like we talk about Whataburger sometimes yeah. and like just other things. And you'll just get hit with an ad like of something you've been talking about. Yeah. It's like so weird. Bro, Alexa is everywhere. Yeah, it's so weird. I'm yeah, like listening. Up. It's um, so strange. Like, we'll be talking about something, and then 10 minutes later, like, first ad that pops up, boom. And I'm like, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah, it's a, it's it's Could uh, be coincidence. Could all right, so anyway, you watched it. You liked it? <laughs> Loved it. Okay, uh, as good as a gentleman, better than a gentleman? Uh, I'd say they're about the same. Okay. I loved you? it. I love McConaughey, so. Whoa. Guys, you've never seen The Gentleman? Is that a Guy Ritchie thing? Yeah. Yeah, no, you got to watch wait, The Gentleman. Okay, wait, it was, is fucking incredible. Oh, it is Guy Ritchie, isn't it? Yeah. McConaughey is in, uh, McConaughey's in there, right? Yeah, McConaughey. Yeah. That was my first it's Guy incredible. Ritchie. No, didn't I show you? Wait, what was your first Guy Ritchie film? It's an action. Okay, listen. You got to watch The Gentleman. It is. It, it, he should be taken to jail for being this goddamn good at storytelling. The Gentleman will show you one in the, in, in the, in the not the intro, but within the first 10 minutes, it'll show, he just flexes his, deli- bro, watch that. Okay? okay, but now I will say this. When I told, when I told, <laughs> what's that? Huh? This guy Richie. Yeah, he walks into a room. His cat? dick's already been in there for huh? two minutes. 
His what? The, oh shit. All right. At the at the at the at the Optic House, I told I told Big Timer and Nate to watch those movies. One of the movies that I told him to watch was Revolver. And I said, when you watch Revolver, when you're done watching Revolver, your brain is going to be fucked for at least two hours. Was it? I think you said I still haven't seen that. to watch it high. <laughs> <laughs> and I did. Yeah, 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 I did. What, yes, my brain was <laughs> No, I'm telling you, bro, it is it is it, it's did. another guy Richie movie. So like he's got a lot of movies, but the ones that are like the independent ones, like obviously Sherlock Holmes, Bakey incredible. Baking hmm? McJakey? Baking McChicky? What are you talking about? You grooving over Bakey McJakey. Anyway, the the five it's Revolver, which is uh, like really good. Okay. Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels, which is what the set set the whole thing off. He got paid eight thousand dollars. <coughs> Guy Ritchie got paid eight thousand dollars, eight thousand pounds to direct uh, Lock, stock, and two smoking barrels. Never seen that one. That's it. it, it oh, that's why he kept saying Lock yeah, in lock. that interview. Yeah, yeah. Lock, I was stock. like, what is Lock? Yeah, Lock, stock, Lock, stock. Eight K. Yeah, and he said he never is got that a lock. He never and got he may have not no, got paid. Right? Yeah. So Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Girls is like 1989. For producing a movie? No. Yeah. Bro, it, was it Guy Ritchie. I didn't see it. I anyway, see Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Girls like set it off. And, and what's crazy about that is that I watched Snatch first, and then I watched Lock, Stock. And at the time, I'm like, yeah, Lock, Stock is better. But eventually, after watching them millions of times, it's Snatch, The Gentleman, Rock and Rolla, Revolver, and then Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Girls. Those are all I'm guys. sorry. Lock, Stock is, is number three, and then a Rock and Roll, and then Revolver. So those are all Guy Ritchie films. If, if you're going to watch the, the next one you should watch and the next one that you should watch, watch Snatch, Rock and Roll, <sighs> The Gentleman. I'll okay. watch it tonight. So Guy Ritchie's like, your, that's your favorite. Your go-to. Your oh, go-to. yeah, yeah. He's my, it's a, <coughs> Snatch is my favorite actually, movie of all time. It's actually crazy how, you know, they have a distinct way of doing – the, and his is very distinct. like he. Like you can I tell mean, like when you yeah. even when you were doing Vision, you had a very distinct way of putting things together and piecing it together. Like it's actually crazy that people do that with movies, yeah. and you know, the dude who they leave uh, their mark on it. It's kind of crazy. I, I don't even know his name, but the guy who makes uh, the Big Short and uh, the one he did after that with the uh, the like, uh, who like was in all the, the Hollywood Short? Hollywood Hollywood stuff. The Big Short's my favorite movie ever. Mm-hmm. Really? Yeah. It's, dude, I don't. It's I don't so really remember good. it. But that that whoever that guy is, I don't know. But he always goes to like breaking the fourth wall and, and uh, yeah, like, when they look the over, camera, yeah, shit like that. Bro, I love that shit. I was at dinner with fucking Rob Turkla and Matt Kendrick last night. We were talking about the Big Short, and then and then I don't know if they can hear it through the microphone. If you guys hear something. Starting a chainsaw? What? The fuck? <laughs> no, they're they're, the they're fixing the electricity. <laughs> Texas chainsaw. On this anyway, one. no, dude. Rob says to me, he's like, he's Chris like, uh, what's what's the guy's name? The guy that plays um, Batman. What's Christian his name? Bale? Yeah, Christian, Christian Bale. Bale. Yeah, he's yeah. like, bro. He's like, Christian Bale did such an amazing job. The shit that he was doing with his eye was crazy. And I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, you know that was a fake. You can't. You, he's like, he was such a good actor. And I'm like, oh. Uh, <laughs> We were drinking, right? And I was like, I don't know if he meant to say that or, or he came out the wrong way. I just made a big deal out of nothing, like I so usually do. But he's like, the, the shit he was doing with his eyes. I'm like, he's, he wasn't purposely like fucking sending his eye, you know, to go do something. Like, that. that's crazy. Um, all right. Uh, I, I guess the last one is the favorite. This is the last podcast, the last Optic Pos- Podcast of the year. I like doing I the podcast. It is, right? Yeah. What is uh, top three favorite moments of 2020 for you? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Good God. COVID. Uh, <laughs> uh, fucking quarantine. I guess London. We played in London. Even that though they kicked this us. That was this year? Yeah, that was this year. That's so nuts. Crazy. So crazy. Them kicking us off the stage. Yeah. Beating Optic in Champs. And then. That was 2020? That's what I'm saying. London is even crazier than that. that was, I mean, that happened, what, three months? Three, well, probably five months ago now. But that was Wait, when? London? They, no, no, beating Optic at Champs. Oh. That was oh. five yeah. months ago. That is nuts. How crazy! The off is that? season flew. Bro, by. the off season they got to they got to lessen the off season, man. Yeah. It's actually it will. insane. Th- there should never we be that big of a gap. We finish in April. We're, we don't start till I mean blank, but that yeah. off season's crazy. It feels like we haven't competed in it like a year. Yeah. So you yeah. Finished in April. We were saying the other time too. Like finished. there's got to be something for us. Oh, to Oh, not play. not April. August. Yeah. August. August. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. But still, August, September, October, November, December. 
January, February, March, April, May, June, July. I'm not telling them where it is, but that's a lot of fucking off season, dude. And it's, it's just long. like way, way too, way too much. We still have a long. month and a half. There's nothing for us pros to play. We still have a month nothing. and a half of just scrimming yeah. until we actually play anything meaningful. I don't know. It's it's hard. Like that mentally is like exhausting. Cause yeah, it's but because like you're not scrimming, paying for anything. Scrimming. Yeah. That's the other thing. Like I, I think that that needs to change too because I know that you're driving hype for the league and these matchups and these things. Um, like the fact, like I, I think that it'll be a really dope idea, and I got this from uh, Green Street, Green Street Hooligans, uh, one of my favorite movies ever. Have you seen it? Anyway, yeah, 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 with anyway, uh, Frodo. Yeah, Frodo and Charlie Hunnam. Anyway, <laughs> they do they do the draft. <clears throat> the, the it's not a draft; it's a a lottery where balls. It's like bingo. Balls drop. It's like oh, the Optic Gaming logo. Cool. He goes here. Group A, Group B, Group B, and then they go into it and they they match up and they leave it up to luck. I think that's better than forcing. Optic to play a hundred thieves because a hundred thieves just saying they want to be like oh but, but nature used to be an optic and blah blah blah, 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 blah. yeah for the storylines or or to put phase against empire I mean, we played against. Dallas in our first match of the year when this year mm. they did it on purpose no did we yeah we yeah Dallas or Minnesota oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah 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 that was the wait yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. land and then optic right after <laughs> <Land. And> then <laughs> optic, right. <laughs> Huh? Land, yeah. Yeah, land. Uh, miss that. So what did you say? So you said you're three? I said two. I don't even know a third. All right. What about you? Three is too much. This whole year sucked. Can't wait for next year. All right. I literally, I couldn't think. I've been trying to think of one since you asked <laughs> yeah. that. And like Christmas he said three things. <laughs> I got to see family for like the yeah. first time. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that's just all just. Optics back. What about you? Yeah. We all uh, I'd oh, say. Yeah. Um, <laughs> hmm. When he's so beating optic, I'm like, are you? I, I thought you were talking about when you were in Gen G, because I'm already like in my brain that whole thing. That whole never, never happened. happened. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I would say getting optic back, number one. That's big. It's my number one too. Just Rep, so we, me repping, too. repping yeah. sweatshirt. <laughs> um, I mean, I'd probably say London and mm. reunited with Bruce. No. <laughs> 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 I love Bruce, but no. <laughs> He's nasty. Um, I, I would probably say beating Optic, too. I mean, that was, like, the only, like, highlights of the year. That's, yeah. like, all we did. Literally, London. I mean, I that, mean Optic, won, that Optic one won. didn't really get us anywhere, but we also won, it was a uh, big match. We also won another online event. What was that? Was Seattle. That Seattle's? Seattle on, yeah, home series. I mean, that's not the same. Yeah. All right. Like I said, I, I, I'll preach it. Till the day I retire, land and online COD, not the same. Not the same. People fold. Do they really though? Because oh, they every fold. single time somebody <laughs> calls somebody an online team, like they would show up fold. and still perform just as well. Nah, uh, not all the time. Did you, you, did still you, guys you can still perform good, but like it's the consistency. Yeah. Didn't you guys you can't get just smoked all year online in MW3, and then you guys show up to land and win every? It's win insane. All of them? People just and Isn't that's that what happened. That's what I always say to my stream. I say. Unless you've played on land, you just don't know. So I can't even blame you for thinking like they're. Yeah, yeah. If they're beating you online, people are like, "Oh, they're better than you." Like I can't blame That's them. That's all you know until because they don't know the difference. Yeah, they don't know the difference. They it don't. is such a small, like minute difference, but at that level, it's not a all small it takes difference. Is the sm it is it a really huge is. difference. It's like milliseconds. Everyone's on the same playing field. Yeah. But no at that level, though, people. that's huge. Like the small milliseconds. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes a huge, huge, huge difference. And you see it. You can literally oh, yeah. see it. You can feel it. All right. We're going to end the podcast on a Christmas gift uh, from Warby Parker Ooh. to my man, Big Willie Johnson. Ooh. I, okay. So Warby I was going to say, why did you this? hand me something that's Wait, not open? This? His, uh, I, I, here's the thing. What I'm about what to give make? you. Oh, they make glasses. Yeah. You didn't give me some glasses. I did. Oh, my but God. I get to keep those. They <laughs> go on the shelf. Okay, as like a, as a, a souvenir? As, okay. Yeah. That's deal, good. Deal, deal. All right, so Big Timer has... Uh, the, Whoa, the, this is like four pairs of five, glasses. Hold five. on. No way. Wait, it's the yeah. right prescription? It's the right too? prescription, right, No Matt? chance. Yeah? It's the right prescription. Oh, man. Yeah. I, uh, do people know the back story? There's really no backstory. This, I've had these glasses since like 2015. And they are <laughs> scratched up beyond belief. I don't this, even know if the camera could pick up how, how bad fucked it up is? they are. Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they're all like different. Frames. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is nice. Anyway, man, I was this gonna is get him some, man. 
Were you? Yeah. You can still get them some. I tried some um, on no. <laughs> I mean, nah, no, 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 just try that on your on your own time. But okay. you are leaving those glasses as soon as uh, you you find the frames that you want. Okay. Anyway, that's gonna do it for this podcast. End of the year podcast. Certainly appreciate everybody that has been obviously supporting the squad forever and ever. I uh, appreciate all the likes. And I would like to ask one of you to please write down a topic that you guys would like us to discuss next week or next podcast. Um, and I'll make sure that one of the guys in production not skill based matchmaking and not league play. Yeah. Anything else? Anything else? Anything? In I the think world? we did a. I think we branched off a lot and did. We covered a lot. Yeah, of we topics. did good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a good one. The only thing we didn't discuss, obviously, is conspiracies, aliens, and I did about a two-hour podcast with with a Lake Fork guy where we all we did was talk about that. Gonna have here, to get Bakey McJakey for that. Bakey McJakey, whatever that means. Bakey McJakey. Ah, it's getting now big. I get it. Anyway, it's thank big. you so much for tuning in. <laughs> remember to leave a like. Remember to share this oh. podcast if you're watching or reading or listening to this on uh, on any audio device whether it's iTunes, Google Podcasts, etc, etc, etc just make sure to, uh, to leave a rating on that as well. Thank you very much. We'll see you guys next week. Goodbye. <laughs>